Okay, we have idea of the maxima and how to find out maxima minima. Let's take concept of local or relative maxima. Local or relative minima. Global or absolute maxima. Or global or absolute minima. Let we have a graph of function y is equal to f of x. So let we have a graph here which was starting from this point increases then decreases then increases again decreases and then go like so this one is x-axis we have y-axis this is the graph of y is equal to f of x now we have seen here number of points where the slope is changing so let's say this point here is a stationary point let's say this point is m1 point we have another stationary point here that is m2 let's call this point is b point and corresponding stationary point is m2 we have one peak point is c and the corresponding stationary point is m3 we have point d and corresponding stationary is m4 so as far as the local maxima is considered we have point A and C are the local maxima that is x equal to m1 and x equal to m3. So A and C are called as local or relative maxima and corresponding value of x is m1 and m3. And if you find out the value of m1 and the value at m3 and if you try to locate this value on the graph from this graph it is clearly seen that y at m1 is a lower value as compared to at m3. So naturally out of these two maxima, one maxima is a higher value that is M3 value which corresponds to C. That particular value is called as global or called as absolute maxima. So out of two relative maxima, one value will be the global maxima. Now same thing is true for minima. So in case of local minima, we have two minima, one is point B and one is point T point. So we have B is a local minima. D is also local minima. So we have two minima. One is B and one is D. Out of these two point B and D, D is a lower point as compared to B. So D will be called as absolute or global minima. Now this time the range is not given. It means that you have to consider the full range that is from minus infinity to plus infinity. And this entire idea will change as soon as we have we will change the range. Suppose this range is changed and let me assign certain value for this concept m1 equal to 2, m2 equal to 4, m3 equal to 7 and m4 equal to 9. Now how we obtain the stationary points so that some basic idea is same that is we have taken dy by dx and we solve this and we got all these four points and these points are very well between minus infinity to plus infinity is therefore valid stationary point. Now suppose I take a range from 5 to 8. So out of 5 to 8 it means that my first stationary point is not valid. Even my second stationary point is not valid. 7 is valid and 9 is not valid. It means only one stationary point that is M3. So 5 to 8 range will be something I have to only observe from 5 to 8 that is this region now as soon as I make my range lower I will only see the graph under this rectangle and therefore my entire idea about maxima minima will change so for this case we have local maxima is equal to C where the function value uh, slope changes that is C as such in the given region I don't have any minima I have only one maxima that is itself called as global I don't have any minima so I don't have any global or absolute minima it entirely depends upon your range but suppose they are asked you what is the maximum value and what is minimum value for 5 to 8 so in addition to y at c you have to also calculate one value at this point and one value at this point that is one value to calculate x equal to 5 and one value to calculate x equal to 8 and one value to calculate at 7. So 
Suppose I will assign the value corresponding to y value is 7, 8 and 15 at point x equal to 5 and 8. So out of this 7, 15 and 8. To find the greatest value what you do is that two value find out at extreme end point that is 1 at 5 and 1 at 8 and one value you find out at our stationary point that is at 7. Out of this which one is the greatest value will be called as max value of the function and one which is a lower value will be called as the lowest value of function. Say for example at y equal to 5 we got 7, y equal to 8 we got is same as 8 at y is equal to 7 suppose you got here 15 so out of this the lowest value is y7 so this will be the greatest value of function y and this is the least value of the function y now suppose they will suppose we have changed now the interval Suppose I make the interval 1 to 6 from 1 to 6. So in that case my two stationary points are valid that is 2 and 4. And I have one maxima at point A, one minima at point B. So I have one global maxima, one global minima. And I need to calculate here two stationary points and two end points. And then again I will decide how to find out y max and y minimum. So your idea will entirely depend upon the range that is given to you.